Symptoms of a bad oxygen sensor. Your oxygen sensor's job is simple. It tells the car's computer how much oxygen is in the exhaust so it can adjust the fuel mixture. Too much oxygen? Add more fuel? Too little? Cut back. When the sensor goes bad, the computer's basically guessing, and that guess isn't always great for performance, mileage, or emissions. Symptom number one, check engine light. This is the big one. A bad O2 sensor almost always triggers a code, usually something like P0130 through P0167, depending on which sensor it is. It might just be an occasional light at first, then stick around once the readings go really out of range. Symptom number two, poor fuel economy. If the sensor's stuck, lean or rich, the computer can dump way too much fuel or not enough. Too much fuel, your wallet feels it, not enough you get sluggish performance. Either way, that MPG number on the dash starts dropping. Symptom number three, rough idle or hesitation, a lazy or inaccurate. O2 sensor can mess with the air fuel mix enough to cause rough idle stumble when you accelerate, or just that it doesn't feel right sensation. Symptom number four, failed emissions test. If you've got emissions testing in your area, a bad oxygen sensor is a common reason cars fail. The sensor's not reporting right, so the catalytic converter can't do its job efficiently. High carbon monoxide, CO, or hydrocarbons, HC readings are a giveaway. Symptom number five, black smoke or sulfur smell. If the sensor tells the PCM you're running lean when you're not, the computer can dump excess fuel causing black smoke out the tailpipe, strong raw gas smell, rotten egg sulfur smell from the catalytic converter. Symptom number six, slow response. Sometimes an O2 sensor isn't completely dead, it's just slow. The computer expects it to switch between rich and lean several times per second at idle. If it lags, the fuel trims drift out of spec and performance suffers, even if there's no hard code yet. Modern car oil burning issue. Worth noting, some newer cars, even under 100,000 miles, can burn small amounts of oil by design or due to wear. That oil can coat the O2 sensor tip, slowing its response and throwing off readings. Clog the catalytic converter over time, leading to similar symptoms, loss of power, bad fuel economy, check engine light. In these cases, the O2 sensor might be fine it's just contaminated by oil ash. If your engine is using oil between changes, that's something to fix before swapping expensive sensors and cats. Extra tip, don't just throw a sensor at it. Oxygen sensors do fail, but wiring issues, exhaust leaks, vacuum leaks, or oil contamination can cause the same symptoms. Always check for those first. If the wiring's melted against the exhaust or the connector's full of water, that's an easy fix without buying a new sensor. My checklist for suspected bad O2 sensor. Scan for codes and check live O2 readings. Inspect wiring and connectors for heat damage or corrosion. Look for exhaust leaks before the sensor. Check fuel trims for clues. If engine is burning oil, address that first. Replace sensor only after confirming it's actually faulty. Most bad oxygen sensors don't kill your car instantly. They just make it run poorly and burn more fuel until you fix them. Catch it early and you can save your gas mileage and your catalytic converter. If this helped you out, drop a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.